So I had a few thoughts about the ending that we experienced, which was earlier today for me. Um, yeah, after I stopped recording, I realized that um, I actually still don't know what Cornelius' deal is. I think it might be tied to the gold puzzles, though, because he had a note in his terminal about them, so maybe it's, maybe it's related. Um, and that made me think, gosh, how, how different are these, how are these other endings going to be? I, I'm so, uh, I'm so curious, but of course, I think that, um, something that's been bugging me about this game is I don't think that it's felt very well paced somehow in this last, I don't know, half or third or quarter of the game or so. I can't exactly pinpoint where it stopped feeling like it was paced well, but somewhere somewhere in there and I don't know something about caring about the story is making it harder to just you know enjoy the the puzzles which is supposed to be like the bulk of the game right um so we can't go in here we have to complete uh the 12 others first that's that's my guess and then this will be the last one. So I, I, um, there were some things that felt disappointing about the ending we got, but it's hard to say exactly why, especially without seeing the other endings. Um, something that I really liked about the Tales Principle, the first game, was how, for me, in my experience, the endings really did get progressively better, I remember thinking. So, um, that was actually really cool to see the progression and how much I liked the endings as I went. Um, I guess we can go in order. Yeah, it's, um, so maybe that'll happen here? Because I, I got, like, the, what I consider the best ending of the Talos Principle, like, the very last thing that I did, I think, pretty much. Um, and that was really cool, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you can use the Prometheus Sparks on the gold ones. I've got almost enough. Oh, nice. It is easy to speak of one's principles when the world is at peace and there is no price to pay for thoughts that stray from what is permitted. But when times grow hard and even ordinary men are filled with mindless anger, when the face of the enemy is suddenly known to every virtuous citizen and to question the virtuous is to be likened to Ephialtes, when every hoary old superstition suddenly springs back to life as if it had never been defeated, and all the work of the philosophers seems to have been for naught, then one may discover what one truly believes. Yeah. Oh, the, <coughs> the doors are just open. Come on in. Jump start. I'm trying not to let these like get in my head to begin with. Like, oh, these are supposed to be hard. Like, no, no, no. Can't think like that. You're setting the expectations. It becomes a self fulfilling prophecy. I solved all of the silver extra puzzles in Gehenna by myself. Okay, I'm not scared of these. <laughs> And since I'm not sure exactly how long it's going to take to do all these, I don't know, I might do them over the course of days and just cut all those together. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, this is the fan.
I bet there's ways to cheese these ones too. Could be fun. Could be fun to look into. Um, okay, here's what we're gonna do first. There's two of these. Okay, well, here's what we're gonna do first. This is kind of the tricky part, like, um... I need to shoot this with green. I can actually probably come up with green right here. Yeah, but I can't... So, I bet, um this up here. Ooh, I don't know. Can it? It might just reach. So, um, we could probably shoot a diverter up here and grab the red and the blue. I don't know. I don't know, though. And that may not reach all the way over here. Heh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Putting a diverter up here. What happens if we switch these two things? So that would mean um, this. Whoops. This would get the blue from here, or from the connector on here would be blue. So this would get the red and the blue, and still shoot the green. Let's just say that we do that. If this was green and this was blue, what would I what would I do then? Maybe the connector has to be here. And both of the diverters are over here. How would we do that? I can get a diverter up here. Um actually yeah, so the problem is this and this are not... I don't think we can reach both. Oh, we can. But we can't reach all three of these things at any point. And this is all set to shoot green. <laughs> uh, if I had a box to put this on or something, you know. I think it'd have to be pretty far, though. Hmm. Also, if we had this as a diverter, how would we put the fan on? Do we need the fan on? I feel like we do, but maybe there's a way to do without it. I feel like this is a simple logic problem that I, again, am just not going to get <laughs> right, right away. I mean, it's already too late for me to get it right away. Let's see, we got number four. <coughs> number four right over here. Shooting green. <laughs> oh, 
I don't think we'll see that from back there. Oh wow, it's actually, yeah, way up in the air. Both. It worked, okay? Hello, it 1K. worked. I've been watching you for some time. Sorry to be so mysterious, but I was unsure as to your intentions. There are people who would prefer Athena to stay where she is. I believe the puzzle you just solved is part of something hidden deep inside Athena's dream. <gasps> hidden even from herself. If you're willing to keep going, I think I know where this leads, and it could change everything for us. Well, consider I'm me intrigued. Cornelius would turn up sooner or later. If you can help him, 1K, please do. <laughs> if I wasn't intrigued before, I am now. What lovely music. I'm so excited for the implications of, like, what we're gonna find by doing all these. And I got both the stars here already. I got the Stratton recording just now. I found several pieces of junk, although I i don't know how many there are. I'm not gonna look that up, it's fine. Um, I feel pretty done with this area. There's, I, you know, there could be secrets yet left for us, but um, I'm excited to move on. Okay, um, got both of the stars here too. Boy, I barely remember this area. Oh. <laughs> but, um, I think the lighting must have changed here. I don't think it was. Yeah, I don't think it looked quite like this before. Lonely Heights. There's a ladder. Nice. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Will we really need this door to be open, though? Like, you grab the box, you grab this connector, Hmm. 
get this through there. <laughs> okay. Alright. the driller to get this. Okay, yeah, that's why we have to open the door like this. Is the ground wet? <laughs> I guess there are a couple of puddles here and there. i keep this here for now. Do I have to put the connector up here? No, I don't think I don't think so. Yeah, we do have to it has to be one shot. Cause there's only one connector. Sure. It'll probably have to connect to at least well, maybe all three things. Well, let's take a look. If we could connect through the door, but we can't connect through these bars, even if it were on top of a box. That would not be tall enough. Where are we supposed to put it? Look at all this space to play with for some reason. Yeah, I'm, I'm not understanding this. confusing me. Alright, so this is probably here for a reason, right? We said we can do this. I mean, might as well do this since we're here, right? Um, and that way we can... What? <laughs> I still only have one connector. We can use the sparks for these. Oh, but it uses more tokens. That makes sense. Well, oh, it says sacrifice one of my sparks. Hmm. Yeah, it, hmm, floating on the box, maybe, will that be high enough? That, that would be high enough. Okay, that's where it's supposed to go. Got it. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so it becomes... A question of how do we get the box and the connector out of this area. We need the grav shifter and we need the fan. We need all four things over here. Or er, grav shifter, a uh, driller. Made it so that you can't put the driller on here and make the hole. It won't reach. Because there's bars here. That would have been my solution. Well, and honestly, you need that to be on this pressure plate anyway. Like, this is. This has to be how it ends up. We don't really have 
Any wiggle room. I, I have an idea. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work. I think I have an idea. It's like, no, but then how do I do this? Because what I'd like to do... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'd like to do that. Actually, actually... Get all that started, I guess. I think it'll float um, over the door, probably. Can I put it there, even? Oh, no. Come back. Okay, here's what we <laughs> here's what we have to do then. Fine. of New Jerusalem, to be free to study and to create, to imagine a better future without all the exhausting nonsense of the city. Even reusing the technology from New Alexandria felt good, like we were picking up a thread that should never have been abandoned. For the first time, we could be who we wanted to be, the best versions of ourselves. I think I found the Stratton recording here. Damn, I don't even know which places I'm missing that for. Oh yes, this one had some clues I couldn't figure out for the for the stars. So my guess now is that um that Sphinx clue is just pointing to a switch, probably. A switch that I have to find that's buried somewhere. <laughs> what? Magisteria. Oh my word. We need three things. We have two things.
Yo, what the fuck? Is this the other? Th oh my god, how are we supposed to get that? <laughs> I, ran, I ran through there so confidently holding that, like, I'm sure it'll let me go. Sure to let me go through. Okay, so we have to start. Oops. Um, we'll just yeah. We still have a problem. Do I first this kind of that? But I can't. Well, I could put, I could at least put the red, uh, like in a different. Um. Oh man, is is that it? Is that all that's happening in here? Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? It's gotta it actually has to go like like this. Oh my god, stop connecting the things. It has to go like this, and this has to be out here, um, connecting to this. Like, both of these need to be on without even using this guy. We can start them off that way, but then they have to be able to connect and self-sustain out here. to random shit. You know, like, like this, the way... But now we gotta... be able to do this. <laughs> I got the I got this thing in here. mad at this one. You know what that means. This is too far down a hill.
thinking they must have designed their precious gold puzzles so that you wouldn't be able to see any of the stuff you need for the, the monuments, for the stars. Like, that just, that makes sense to me. Is this... I mean... I don't think this is gonna reach this. And even if it did... I'm not sure that that helps. <laughs> Actually reach both of these. I think that may not be possible. Yeah, it's like unless we can use this for both the power sources, I, I don't actually think it's gonna work. Oh, maybe we can do it. Please forgive me. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not sorry. But why couldn't I figure out how to do that with a with a red power source. It's whatever. Um, she's um, two out of three so far, so. Creating Miranda was an act of defiance in a way. To bring a new life into existence and say, this is good, this is fundamentally good because human beings are unique and valuable and every single one of them enriches the universe just by existing. We wanted to celebrate that and to have a personal connection to the life we created, to be invested in each other the way it was in the beginning, to be parents. I think that makes complete sense. It's a little bit lonely now. For having been like so kind of vaguely annoyed at everybody for talking at me in the beginning of the game, now it's like every time I finish a puzzle, it's just Cornelius talking, which is still cool, but like I kind of miss, I miss social media a little bit. All right, that just has like, the clue on it. I'm what I'm doing now is trying to find a way to do the Pandora one. I have not found a green power source. I don't know if there are any what are they called? Diffract diffractors or whatever that can make green. We have inverters everywhere. Like that's the that's the thing for this level, right? 
I'm gonna have to check every single puzzle again just to be sure I'm not missing an in and an, a, a diverter or whatever they're called. Can we make green somewhere over here? I mean, this is where it begins, sort of. Get your shiny metal ass over here. Uh, so the blue power source and the red one. I knew I was just gonna have to be more thorough. I didn't really look all that carefully last time, I guess. cause for war, it would make war for sport instead. I feel like this is what it's pointing at, this kind of structure. of philosophy are true, why has no philosopher changed the world? Is that a true statement? Oh, well, we got our whole east area taken care of. Or, er, uh, yeah, east. Perfect. So what's next, north? I'm feeling like I'm hitting my stopping point, but I want to look at this puzzle because I'm probably not going to be able to solve it right away. And maybe if I sleep on it, maybe that'll help. Again, there is one connector for all this, for all these corners and shit. So the blue one might lower the gate. Why would they make this a, this kind of gate? What does it matter? What do I want to do first?
How in the ever-loving fuck are you supposed to connect this to this in one shot? Are you serious? Well, okay, there's a box in there, so let's get that. I guess you can hit that in one shot. But what about the red one? The red is gonna be pretty much the same. Which will come after the blue one. So we're gonna have to um, do the blue one first and then put your other body in, in here, I think. We need something to stay here and um, keep this open. I mean, we may not need that to do that right now. Maybe what we need to do is is this. Probably doesn't matter <laughs> at this moment. Well, it might because I can get two of me over here. Which means, um, I can bring the connector in here. Oh my god, no. So, take this. Say blue first. See, the tricky thing is gonna come when we need something on this pressure pad. <sighs> because otherwise. Well, here's. Here's maybe what we do then. Where is me? I don't think I'll be in the way of the lasers. Here's what we do then. Clear shot. Um. There we go. All right. After Miranda died, Athena started crumbling. It wasn't just the death of our daughter, it was everything. The burden of century after century of trying to keep the flame alive, trying to make Alexandra Drennan's sacrifice worth it, while everyone else got caught up in their petty personal problems. Even with me there, she was lonely. She felt responsible for everyone, as if she could change the tides of history by will alone. And I can understand why, because... She kind of did. I kind of... I wish that Cornelius was a little more... <laughs> he feels a little bit robotic, doesn't he? Like, he's not very animated. His... his... Athena, I mean, the voice acting sometimes. She's so emotional and... It's so effective, and Cornelius, I don't get that same feeling from. <laughs> He's very matter-of-fact. Like, what are his goals and, and passions or whatever? Alright, let's take a look at the next one, then. I am way up past my bedtime, man.
Okay, is it just both of these and then we can open this? Oh, I guess this will be a good one to leave off of. Think about how I can get in this door. If I do that, then that thing becomes trapped in there. Which is, um, actually, no, it, I can do that. Now this, now this is the problem. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem because even if I change this to be the blue one, it'll still, it'll still cross. I love the ones where it's like the problem is so simple. I feel like I like almost have this one. It's just not. It's too late. It's late, and I'll get it next time. It's actually been a couple of couple of weeks since I played this, and um, I've been thinking about this puzzle like on and off during that time, and like I still just thinking about it. I. Still, I still don't know what to do. I have no idea. I'm gonna spend a few minutes um, trying to actually do it right, but I might default back to, um, you know, old faithful. <laughs> can I connect uh, lasers across the map? Uh, we'll see. I mean, the problem with this is obviously that just like, you can't stop crossing beams. You can't. Now, how do we get this to be red? Because that's literally all I need to do, is get this to be red. But I can't do it. Because this is in the way. So that's, that's, the, that's the problem. But I feel like this is so close, so I'm I'm just kind of frustrated that I can't stick the landing. See, like, look, I wonder if we could connect through here. If it would let you. Yeah, did they set up these? To be completely, you know, can't connect through them. What is that? <laughs> what even is that? It's, it's a power source. I don't know if it's actually connected because this thing sends out energy, of course. What is that? I can see it. are actually in the way. Yeah, I think that they maybe made this, like, you know, technically impermeable. Like, even if there was a spot where it could, like, go through the holes, it wouldn't work. I saw that thing turn for a second. Shut up. So you can go through those. Oh my god. 
I can. <laughs> I broke it <laughs> with this connection. <laughs> finality of it that was so unbearable even with the technology we were creating there was no way of reaching back into time to save her we were moving forward relentlessly the days flying by and with every day miranda was further away i think that was the first time i really understood what it means that time is a dimension I could measure the distance between us in minutes, hours, days, years. But if what broke Athena was accepting that distance, for me, it was the opposite. I refused to accept it. The universe had already taken so much from us. It didn't get to take my daughter. Uh, I didn't even see his, his profile picture before. Oh my god. My heart. Maybe there's like a, just an extra step in this process. Well, obviously there's an extra step in this process that I'm not seeing. And we have to open- oh my god. I don't know. I don't know! Look, I'm just not smart enough to figure it all out, okay? Apparently. Uh, I, you know what, as soon as I saw this just sitting on the floor, I knew that these things were going to be in here. That at least one. Ranger, huh? I can, I can see why already. Okay, where is the red power source? I don't even know. Do yeah, we just have the blue one. Oh, we need the fucking you. We need the this thing. Why this wall? Why here? Hmm. Oh my god! This wall has to go here because we're not going to be able to keep this door open with this. Was there a teleporter in there? Probably not. This door at some point isn't going to be able to be open. Um, this will have to. Yeah. But how do we get the blue one open, too? I don't have an accumulator. But that is it. It's it for connectors. You're literally, literally always just one step short. Always. I mean, this is honestly, well, why would we need the hole? We could get this through the door. 
What about how do we get this one, like, at all, without even worrying about what's after it? How do we do that? There's another fan in there. Holy shit. What the hell good does that do me? box wouldn't be in the way from this angle, but it's whatever. Um, huh. So there's another fan. If I can just get in into there. We don't need this. What do I need these boxes for? <laughs> well, I don't. Um, I think. Come on, we must have to use this. Why even have this? But, um, oh, but how? You know what? I can't reach that from here. I can't reach that, it's too far away. Okay. in ones and zeros and I was convinced that somewhere somehow that melody still existed I just couldn't believe that it didn't I refused to that thought consumed me in some ways it broke me but I didn't give up not every obsession has to be fought you know the easy way isn't always the right one So, has he been working to that end this whole time? Somehow? That's kind of exciting. All right, we're halfway there. for <laughs>
was not smart. I'm not sure why I did that. <laughs> I wanted to see where it was gonna go. Now I have to start over. Let's go ahead and see if we can do this the right way. Still not sure if that was the right move. Oh my god, should I have left that there? Because all the fans, both of the fans are back there. What is that even doing? This one was still on, I think. Yeah. So this one stays on. Cool, well, um... I feel like I want both of these fans. Does this power do? anything else. Is this, if we put both of these and have this lit up, this will turn on, maybe? fan and the teleporter. Bring the teleporter over here, and I have no fan, I won't be able to get back there. Teleporter should be... The teleporter should be the second to last thing to come over. Do I need to bring the box over? I can go back and forth right now. Putting the box here is probably going to interrupt this line. So we just, we bring this... Don't bring the teleporter over first, because then we're just stuck over there.
way to the same thing. Do we think? No, <laughs> we can't. <laughs> they said you could do that once, but this time you're gonna cut the power up if you try to do that again. Send the box over, I think, but do I need to? Or can I, like. I think so. I don't know if that'll, like, break it, though. I have both fans. I have all the things right here. I'm gonna need one fan to come with me. I can get myself over here, but I can't bring the teleporter or a fan over. I guess let's go look. Oh. Okay. That's fun. At some point, Athena and I were so consumed by our obsessions that we stopped being able to communicate. We loved each other. But Miranda's ghost hovered over every conversation. That kind of grief annihilates you. You can't ever be the same person again. That's when I decided to go back. I'm glad to hear more from him. I think I said before, he seemed a little, uh, robotic. I don't know. I don't really know what to do about this, um... I was trying to figure this out, however long ago that was, to get the, um... I think it's a Pandora monument. The Sphinx monument. I still... there was a pattern. I haven't found the things anywhere, so I haven't... I clearly haven't explored this, uh, area super well. I missed a whole, like, little area. Okay, do we think there's a way to maybe get this out of here? Like, was there a... the thing. This is just something on his hand, it looks like. I don't think this one will be able to to reach both. Yeah, like where where's the green? Where even is that?
The honest philosopher is rewarded with poison. The hypocrite is rewarded with power. I don't even know where to look for this pattern. Some of these areas feel so massive and expansive. I don't know why that scared me. <laughs> I see these beings, these children of a future age, wandering around an island more fantastical than Atlantis itself, looking desperately to find themselves. I reach out to them, but they cannot see me. I speak to them, but I do not know if they can hear me. Am I being punished? Are the gods playing some cruel trick on me? Why can I remember so little? What is this sorrowful voice I hear whispering such terrible thoughts? I must use what remains of my mind. I must understand. <laughs> uh, also, I wonder with him, are those recordings tied to the area or do you get them like in in order same with lift here i don't know um if i think that with lift here it would make sense to get those in uh, order not tied to the area just because like he talks about things that happens like sequentially uh, towards the end at least I don't know about Stratton. That was that was so dissonant with the other recordings we found, so it's just kinda strange. Alright, I have no idea where the hell this um this Sphinx puzzle is. We can come back and look more thoroughly later. Let's move on for now. Ooh. Shifting wounds. nothing in here. What the hell? <laughs> uh. <laughs> what a fake out. Well, hold on. What, what's... You know, I thought this was overhanging, like, <laughs> I could just walk up to it, but... No, that would be stupid easy. So, yeah, no, that, this totally tracks. This makes sense. So, we, um... Hmm. Do we need this box? Oh. Alright, I know how this is gonna go. I feel like I'm not getting something because 
This seems really simple at the moment. I can't imagine that it is so simple. Like this has gotta there's gotta be some catch. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. There's the catch. There's another door that I didn't see. So, that's cool. Um, that's fine. Fuck. Okay. Alright, I, I get it. I get it? I'm tracking. <laughs> There's a few steps. This is just steps. It's all. That's all. It's it's fine. So now we see. I'm I'm hoping this. Um, maybe that's the problem. From up here, we can probably connect these things, but um. From really anywhere else. Interesting. Okay. So there's a problem where I need to be standing here and then have these things connect and then be able to walk on the ceiling here. I'm very happy this turned out to be not as simple as it felt like it was at the beginning. Um. Well, if I could get the grab shifter in here. So can we get that in here? Is that possible? Is there a way, do I need, can I use the, can I use the box? Okay, so what if, what if we did this? Jerusalem, I hid the truth. Not just about Athena and the island, but everything. My grief, my personal opinions about where the city was headed, all of it. I became the dusty old curator people wanted me to be. Except, of course, that the whole thing was a front. I didn't care about the museum, and I certainly didn't care about the archive scholars and their endless, tedious discussions, no matter how much they fawned over me. No. What I needed was access to the tools. Studying the Archive hasn't answered any of our questions about humanity, but it has taught us something. And that's data recovery. Jeez. Sounds like nobody knew him at all. He put on this front. <laughs> 